Big Polly's World of Sports Sims proudly presents game number two of the Hometown Football League, season two, week number one. And today we have the real-life defending champions, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, hosting the Tennessee Titans in a Sunday afternoon clash. It'll be 83 degrees, which is a cool day for Tampa in early September. Raymond James Stadium. I'll be playing as Tampa Bay. The computer will control Tennessee. And the computer will set the rosters. And off we go. Ryan Tannehill, who is, of course, the modern, uh, current Tennessee quarterback, and Tom Brady will be the dueling quarterbacks. Of course, Brady is with the Bucks now, no longer with the Patriots. Tampa Bay had an earlier draft pick, so they were able to assemble any 100 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And wouldn't you know who won the pony? Yes, indeed, it was Tom Brady who will helm Tampa Bay for this second HTFL season coming over from New England. Here's the coin toss. Tampa Bay wants the ball. And it's Wilson, Blunt, and Humphreys back deep for Tampa Bay. And here we go. We're going to down it four yards deep as it's a good kickoff. Good kickoff by Rod Baronis. So let's give you the starting lineup for Tampa Bay. It's done in Allstott. Each five uh, have five, have a five receiver rating. Keyshawn Johnson is a 9, Mark Carrier a 7, and Rob Gronkowski is a 7. So those are your backs and receivers. Brady is at quarterback, and it's uh, Gruber, Harp, uh, Marpet, Marpet, is that right? Let me see here. Al Marpet, Ali Marpet. Well, we're going to have to go with it. Mayberry, Middleton, and Penn are your uh, offensive line core, and you see there Gruber is an 8, and the rest are 7s. We'll give it to Allstott on 1st and 10, and we'll set the Tennessee defense, and Allstott up the gut for 4 yards, which will make it 2nd and 6 at the 24. Tennessee defense is Kirsch, Vanderbosch, Hainsworth, and Casey. They are all 8s on the defensive line. Bullock, Tullock, and Brown are the linebackers. Willick is a 9, Tullock an 8, Brown a 7, Finnegan, Roll, Bayard, and Griffin. Bayard is the only 9, and the rest are 8s. We'll go done on the screen, 2nd and 6 from the 24. Tampa Bay wearing their old creamsicle orange. And that pass is incomplete. Bullock with good defense. Tampa Bay and uh, Tennessee did not play in the same division last year, but they are part of the 18 Southern Division. We'll go to Gronk on a medium cross on third and six. He's open. He's caught it, and it's a first down, Tampa Bay. Gain of 16 yards to the 40. We'll go back to the I formation, and we're going to let... Allstott do some blocking, and we'll give Dunn a chance to show how good of an outside runner he is. And he takes off. It's a gain of three, tackled by Brown. Second and seven, Tampa Bay at their own 43, with 13.06 left in the opening quarter. We're going to look for Keyshawn Johnson on the slant. Remember, he was at one time a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, had a dispute with John Gruden, leading to his demise, but he did play for the Bucks. So look for 19. He's open. It's a first down for Tampa Bay at the Titan 48. We'll go to Allstott up the gut again on first and 10 at the Tennessee 46, I'm sorry. It's a gain of three yards. I thought it's, a, you know, you could get a six and an eight mixed up very easily. Gain of three for the... Um, the Haas from Purdue. And it's now second and seven. Nobody in a bad usage situation yet. We're going to go quick to Carrier on second and seven. See if Brady can get something done. Quick release and an incompletion. So Brady off the mark there. Third and seven. We'll put him in the gun. Put a man in motion. Go a medium pass. To Mike Evans. 
the veteran receiver of the present era, and he's caught it. Brady has missed her third down in the first down. That's, that's another third down conversion and a gain of 14 yards. You've just joined us. You've just queued ahead a little bit in the stream. We welcome you to Raymond James Stadium, Tampa, Florida. This is the first game for each team in Season 2. It's 10:51 in the first quarter, and we have no score. Back to a two-wide receiver, two-running back formation. And Gronkowski is going to be used to block as Dunn will go off tackle to the right side. T uh, Tennessee kind of scrunched in with their defense, but it doesn't stop Warwick Dunn out of Florida State to pick up five yards. He played for Tampa Bay before moving on to Atlanta. He's donated many a home uh, to, uh, shall we say, underprivileged uh, women in the Tampa and Atlanta areas, and he continues to do this after his retirement. A great guy. Medium out to Keyshawn on second and five from the Tennessee 24. That's off his fingers and incomplete. But we could challenge. Looks like Johnson may have trapped it. Looks like he may have caught it. I have a 72%. I'm going to use my sole challenge of the game. Upon further review, the ball was secured before it hit the ground. The pass is complete. And no there you go. Will be charged. As was the case last year in the HTFL, you, each team has one challenge. But... Uh, all for all scores and all turnovers are subject to review. So we used our challenge successfully, and it's first and 10 at the 13. We're going to go all stat again. Off tackle left. Tennessee has eight in the box, but all stat powers ahead. And the A train picks up three yards. That's who I was thinking, the nickname I was thinking of earlier. Now it's double tight end and one running back, which will be done. We're going to put a man in motion, and we're going to go to a screen pass for Dunn. Second and seven at the 10. Off on a cardinal spin, and there it goes. It bit me in the butt. Off on a cardinal sin to use the screen pass inside the 20, and that's incomplete. Third and seven now from the 10. We're going to go Gronk. And we're going to hope he comes up big. Medium slant. It's caught by Dunn. Dunn's short of the first. No, he got the first down. He got the first down. It'll be first and goal from the three. Back to a two uh, tight end set here. And we're going to go all stop and hope the A train can bring us six points. This is the 13th play of the drive. 77 yards accumulated, and 640 has run off the clock. Tennessee has yet to see their first possession. We're going to go trap right Allstott. And Allstott fumbled, and Tennessee has it. Tennessee will be starting from their own one-yard line. Vammer, Vandenbosch popped the ball loose, and Hainsworth recovered it. So Tennessee stymies the Tampa Bay drive, but... The, the flip side of that is they're going to start from their own one. 7.37 left, no score. Let's set the Tennessee offense for you. The receiving ratings are the numbers I'm going to be reading off for the skill positions. It's Johnson at 5 and Hall a 6 at running back. Mason is a 9. Bennett a 6. Wycheck is a 7. Ryan Tannehill is your quarterback. And here are the blocking numbers uh, for your linemen. Ruse is a 9, Scott a 7, Jones a 7, Olsen a 6, Runyon an 8. So they're good on the tackle positions, but you could probably penetrate on them up the middle. Defensive ratings is what I'll be reading off. Selman, Leroy Selman, Bennett, McCoy, Logan, a 10, an 8, a 9, and an 8, respectively. Derek Brooks, Levante David, and Green, Hugh Green, a 10, a 9, and an 8. Barber and Talib a 10 and an 8. Lynch and Barrow, a 10 and a 7. And we're going to call a run defense here. First and goal. Not first and goal, but first to 10 from the 1. Tannehill throws. It's complete to Hall, who gains 6 yards and moves the ball out of safety range to the Tennessee 7. 
call safety range anything inside your own five. Second and four from the seven. Tannehill will throw. It's complete to Johnson. And Johnson, out of the backfield, picks up 13. Quickly, Tennessee is to their own 20. A first and 10. And a sack. David Logan bringing down Tannehill, much to the happiness of the Raymond James Stadium crowd. It's second and 16. Tannehill in the shotgun with two running backs. Johnson on a screen pass, and he gains all those yards back and one more. Third and nine. Now the ball resting at the Tennessee 21. We have 5.03 left opening quarter and no score. Tannehill, not, they're really not getting any uh, uh, pass rush on Tannehill. He's been open to throw the ball several occasions already. That's a gain of 12 to Bennett, to Lieb making the tackle for Tampa Bay. First and 10 at the 33 now. And this is Johnson. Johnson's going to lose a yard. Levante David on the tackle. David was a part of that Super Bowl team last year in 2020. And it's second and 11 at the 32. A lot of people wondering if Tampa Bay will repeat as Super Bowl champions. And, of course, as I record this, it's too early to tell. Second and 11. Tannehill, again, lots of time. Bennett, wide open, gained 16 yards to leave on the tackle. Bucks not able to get any pass rush off the offensive line at all. And it's first and 10 now at the 48. 2.49 left. Eighth play of the drive coming up for the Titans. And this is Johnson again, a pickup of eight. Green, Hugh Green making the tackle at the 44. So they cross the 50 and move into Tampa Bay territory. A second and two coming up. Again, Tannehill in the shotgun. Throw to Wycheck, and Wycheck is wide open. 22 yards. Rondé Barber finally catching up with Wycheck, and it's first and 10 at the Tampa Bay 22. That fumble at the one-yard line really looming large right now for Tampa Bay as they can't stop the Titans worth a darn right now. And it's going to be first and ten. Tannehill throwing again, looking for Johnson, but Johnson dropped that. Second and ten at the 22. We're down to 39 seconds left in the opening quarter. A fast-moving first quarter. And that's another incompletion. Again, Tannehill was looking for Johnson. Third and ten. 36 seconds left in the first. No score. Ball to 22 at Tampa. The throw complete, and that's another first down to Bennett. Bennett goes all the way down to the eight, and we have already, already reached the end of the first quarter with no score. Tennessee has gained 91 yards. The Bucks have gained 79 on 14 plays. Tennessee has used 11 plays. So this will be the 13th play of the drive, actually. Tannehill all, doing it all by himself as uh, Tennessee has lost the yard rushing. First and goal at the 8. And this is a quick hitter to Johnson, and he is stuffed for a loss by Derek Brooks. Only the second drive of the game, the first for Tampa Bay, and we're already into the second quarter. A second and goal at the 9 coming up. Tannehill has Hall, a gain of 5, to the 4. So now a third and goal at the 4-yard line, each team with all three timeouts. A fastly moving game so far. Tannehill in that shotgun. And it's a throw. And a touchdown. Touchdown to Mason. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Let's look at that again. It was incomplete to Mason. Yeah, Mason did not hang on to it. So they'll bring Baronis in, and he'll try a field goal from 21. And it's 3 nothing Titans. I apologize for getting that touchdown incorrect, but the Titans have a lead. It's just not 7 nothing; it's 3. So Wilson, Blunt, and Humphreys again back deep. 
And they're going to down this. By the way, Tampa Bay will be going into the win. They had that win advantage in the first quarter and are now going into it in the second on an 83-degree day. And we're going to go play action medium pass to Johnson Keyshawn on first down. There's the throw. Johnson well covered. And it's an incomplete pass. So we'll go to all stun on a screen on second and ten. He's got it. He's got good running room. Eight yards. Hainsworth is uh, jogging off. His return is probable. So your offensive, your defensive line now for t uh, Tennessee is Curse, Vandenbosch, Brown. Brown is a six, and Casey is an eight. So on third and two, what do we do? I'm going to look to Gronkowski on a play-action short pass. We're going to go short cross. Incomplete. And Tampa Bay will have to punt it away on fourth and two from the 28. It will be Josh Bidwell doing the honors. Mariani will be back deep for the Titans. The punt is away. And it was, they let it roll dead at the 32-yard line. So, 12.46 now left in the half. It's 3-0 Titans. Tannehill back on the field. 9 for 12, 103 yards. He's had a pretty good afternoon so far, I would say. There he goes again. It's to Johnson. Johnson will pick up a few. He picks up two. Bennett making the tackle for Tampa Bay. And at the opposite def defensive end to Leroy Selman. Second and eight. It's another quick hitter to Johnson. And it's off tackle left. A gain of five. Levante David made that tackle. Third and three, ball to 39. Still 3 nothing. Johnson will be close to first down yardage, but just short. They're going to review it. The ruling on the field stands. A timeout will be charged. And I believe that will be Tennessee's only challenge, which was unsuccessful. So they lose a timeout, and they're down to two for the remainder of the half. We'll see who punts this away after the play. It was Kern, one of the better punters in the NFL. We will let the ball roll. And it is downed at the 8. And Tampa Bay will start from there with aces wild on the clock, 11-11. And the Bucks trailing by 3. Pitch right Warwick Dunn on first and ten with the double tight end formation. And Dunn's going to be stuffed. A loss of three back to the five. And this is not where Tampa Bay, even with Tom Brady, wants to be. And we'll put a man in motion and try the screen pass to Dunn on second and 13. Titans playing loose. And the screen pass incomplete. And now you got to watch for a pass rush here. And it's going to be third and 13 from the five. Let the computer figure out who to go to. Keyshawn in motion. The pass complete to Evans, and he's got a first down, a pickup of 14. And that gives the Bucks some breathing room. As we check usage, and usage is a part of Season 2. There are usage penalties, unlike there was in Season 1. We had a lot of high-scoring contests in Season 1, so we'll try something a little different. And it's going to be Keyshawn on a reverse, first and 10. And Keyshawn will pick up a first down. He's at the 40, and he is tackled at the 46, a pick up a 27. A little razzle-dazzle here by the normally conservative Buccaneers. If uh, offenses had, were part of a political group, the Bucks would be a part of the John Birch Society. Uh, we'll go outside run with Warwick Dunn on first and ten and a three wide set. And Dunn runs into a wall. Kirsch is hurt. 
injured leg, and he will be back in a few plays. They bring Morgan in. That is Derek Morgan from Georgia Tech. So second and 10, 829 left in the half. We'll go Gronk on a short hitch. And Gronk has it. Does he have a first? He does indeed. Pickup of 11. Can't go wrong when you go to Gronk. Now Tampa Bay crosses the 50 and is in Titan territory. We're going to go off tackle left done. First and 10 from the 43. He'll pick up a few yards. Four. Curse injured again. And this time he will be returning in a few plays. Morgan going back in, who we just profiled. Second and five. We'll go Allstott. Off tackle right side. Now, Tennessee playing short and tight, so we're going to go to Carrier, long fly. Brady throwing deep, but incomplete. And Curse back in the game. Now, third and six. And in motion, but we're going to look to Evans on the short hitch. Okay, we're going to change it to a medium slant because the Titans are playing short. Short and tight. And Evans wide open, and he is down after a 15-yard game to the 24. 7-16 now left in the half. We're going to go Gronk. Medium slant. The throw. It's there, and it's six. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rob Gronkowski. With the score, Brady already 10 for 17, 131 yards. And he can throw 62 passes without fatigue. Extra point attempt coming up. It's good. That was Husted with the extra point, who played for the Bucks before moving on and playing with the Buffalo Bills for a couple of Super Bowls. It's 7-3, Tampa Bay leading. Back deep for the Titans is Mariani, McCadley, and Mason. Sounds like a long for law firm. And Husted kicking into the wind is going to aim for the goal line. Try to let the special teams. It, it falls way short. It was at the 10. And Mariani returned to 25 yards out to the 34. So he actually cut it at the 9. So it's Bucks 7 and Titans 3 with 619 left in the opening half. Ball to 34 for a first and 10 play. And Tannehill, who has been busy, throws incomplete looking for Bennett. Tannehill now 9 for 13 for 103 yards. And it's second and 10. This is going to be caught for a first down. Gain a 12 to Bennett on the short slant to leave making the tackle. And it's first and 10 now at the 46 of Tennessee. So they still got across the 50. You think they could do it with ease? They do it. No, a penalty here. Pass interference. Defense. Number 21. Automatic. First down. They catch Tlaib being a little too aggressive. And it's a pass interference. Spot of the foul. So now they cross the 50. They're at the Tampa Bay 33. 7-3. Tampa Bay leading 520 left in the half. Tannehill throwing, and that's an incompletion. Looking for Wycheck, Frank Wycheck, who threw the lateral. And many will say it was a forward lateral that allowed Tennessee to beat Buffalo in that Music City Miracle game back in early 2000. And led the Titans to the Super Bowl that year, but they lost to the Rams. Second and 10 at the 33. It's Tannehill again, throwing, and that's over the reach of Bennett. Setting up third and ten at the 33. And I am going to go three, two, dime, zone, pass here. You know Tannehill's going to throw it. It's caught by Wycheck, and that's a gain of 11. Scott will be substituted by Josh Klein. Scott will be out a few plays. Klein out of Kent State. First and 10 at the Bucks 22. Under five left in the half. 
Tannehill to Hall. He's close to first down yardage. Picks up eight, and Derek Brooks made the tackle there. Second and two from the 14. And this is Johnson. No gain. Tackled by Levante David. I do not see the Buccaneers uh, making the playoffs in this league because they are too weak in some key positions, and they're not going to be matching up well uh, when they play Miami and when they play Dallas and they play some other teams in the South Division. Each team plays an 18-game schedule this year. 14 of the games are within your own division. The division winners will get the 1, 2, 3, and 4 seeds, and then the wild card, there'll be 12 wild cards. The four high wild cards will get a week by. The division winners get a two-week by, and then if you're 9 from 16, you're playing week one in the playoffs. Third and two at the 14. This is a pitch to Johnson, and Johnson will be trapped for a loss. McCoy rattled him for an eight-yard loss. All the way back to the 22, Baronis comes in. He should make this from 40. He does. Perfect, and it's 7-6. to six. So... Tennessee having all trouble with their rushing game, but passing day have been pretty decent as Tannehill is 12 of 18, 134 yards. Brady, 10 of 17, 131 yards, and he has a touchdown. So Wilson again back deep for the Bucks, and we will down it. Tampa Bay has a win disadvantage right now. We're going to go all start up the gut. That has worked out pretty well for them. Uh, no gain on that. Curse makes the tackle with 2.41 left. Probably time for one more play before the warning. We're going to go Evans medium cross. And instead they go to Keyshawn. He picks up six. Marpet will be out a few plays. And they'll bring in Sean Farrell to replace him. Third and four. And let's see here. This will probably be called by the warning. We'll go to Johnson on a short pass. Incomplete. So the Bucks will have to punt with 207 left in the half. Bidwell back at about zone 15. And Mariani was immediately met by Robinson. So Tennessee gets it back to a one left in the half. They'll have one play before the warning, the two-minute warning. It's 7-6 Tampa Bay. Tannehill gives it to Johnson. Three-yard gain tackled by Levante David. Two-minute warning, and it's 7-6 in favor of the Bucks. Ball to 34 for a second and seven. Tannehill will throw, but he throws over the reach of Johnson incomplete. So now a third and seven play. We'll send Green on a blitz. Actually, no, I want to go 4-2 nickel. And we're going to send Brooks on a blitz. 4-2 pass. Tannehill got it off, but it's short of the first down to Johnson, who only gained a couple yards. And he did the Bucks a favor of getting out of bounds, so Tampa Bay will get it back on the punt, barring anything unfortunate. Kern boots it away, and the return by Humphreys is for 10 yards. Ball to 26, a minute 35 left, and let's see what Tampa Bay could do on first down. We're going to go fly to medium fly to Johnson. Brady is going to run. Brady's going to get a first. Gain of 12, and the Bucks will very quickly use a timeout. About Gronk over the middle with a medium hitch. That's there. And the Bucks go to midfield. And Brady hurrying his team to the line. And they're going to go carrier on a short out. 119 left on first and 10. Finnegan knocked that down, nearly picked off. And it's incomplete. Second and ten. Ball to 48. 
And we'll put a man in motion. And we're going to go back to our money guy. That's Gronk. Keyshawn in motion. Gronk's got it. And that's a first down, a gain of 15. Did he get out of bounds? He did. So now we will go to Evans on a medium fly route. He's open inside the 20, a gain of 17 yards. And Tampa Bay will burn their second time out here. If I could get the screen to cooperate. There we go. Well, we have 36 seconds left. We're going to go Gronk over the middle. Incomplete. It was Bayard on the coverage for Tennessee. They, he's a... Uh, He's their safety. They bring Jackson in. Jackson is their nickelback. Well, that's Michael Griffin, who is their safety. Let's look at Jackson. Adore Jackson. He's out of USC. So now what do you do if you're Tampa Bay, a second and ten with 32 ticks on the clock? Well, I'm going to go to Carrier. Mark Carrier. Brady. Off the fingertips of Carrier. So it's third and ten with 25 seconds to go. I don't think we have anything to lose going five wide here and letting it all hang out. We'll go to Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn is in motion. The throw is to Carrier gaining seven yards. 17 seconds left. And I'm going to run the clock down to three seconds. Call my last time out, and I'm going to bring Husted in to try one from 26. Snap. Good. And it's blocked. It was blocked and recovered by Hainsworth, and that is your half. Tampa Bay leading 7-6. to six. I'm going to pause for a moment, get a drink of water, and I'll come back and call the second half for you. So stand by, everybody. So here we go, second half action. It's a tight one. The Buccaneers leading 7-6. to six. And let's show you, if we can, the box score. Show you what's happened in this game. Tannehill 13 out of 20, 136. Brady has already thrown it 26 times. Your leading receiver is Keyshawn Johnson, of all people, with that one carry for 27. And Gronkowski has five catches for 80 yards. He's halfway to 10 catches. Leading tackler right now is Bayard with seven. And your scoring summary, Baronis with a field goal. Brady threw to Gronk. Uh, and Baronis hit another field goal with 247 left in the half. And we are at 7-6. to six. A quiet game. It's been quickly moving. About 33, took us 33 minutes to play the half. Tampa Bay kicking off to Tennessee, and we're kicking into the wind, so we're just going to kick it deep and see what happens. Mariani, past the 20 to the 29, a pickup of 23 yards. So Tannehill, 13 out of 20, 136 yards. See what he does here, first and 10 at the 29, that double running back shotgun formation again. Brady over the middle to Johnson, who picks up another seven. Hugh Green on the tackle. Johnson has five catches for 27 yards, but he has been stymied by the Tampa Bay defense. Six carries for only three yards. Second and three at the 36. This is a throw over the middle, and Frank Wycheck is found. Tackled by John Lynch, who's now a Hall of Famer. Pro Football Hall of Famer was just inducted earlier in this month. I am recording this August 31st, 2021 for broadcast September 7, 2021. Always like to be transparent when I do these broadcasts. First and 10 at the 45. Gain a 9 on that last play for Wycheck, and that's his third ball of the day for 42 yards. 
So Tannehill will give it to Johnson, and Johnson picks up more yardage in that one carry of six yards than he had previously. So he's now up to nine carries for nine yards. I said, I think I said he had six carries. No, he has nine. So when I said six, I meant eight. On the tackle, by the way, was Bennett. And if you're wondering who Bennett is, that's Michael Bennett out of Texas A&M, played on the mid-teens uh, Bucks teams that weren't all that good. Uh, second and four. The ball resting at the Tampa Bay 49. Titans will take the lead on any score here, but that's an incompletion. Looking for Mason. Levante David tipped that in the air. Third and four now. See if Tampa Bay can stop him here on a, fir on a third down. Johnson will pick up the first. He picks up five yards. By the way, if you're wondering about third down conversions, t uh, Tennessee is now four for eight. And Tampa Bay is 5 for 9 Either team has had to attempt a fourth down try. So first and 10 at the Tampa Bay 44 with 12.20 left in quarter number 3. Hand off to Johnson. Johnson, another nice gain. 7 yards. Levante David again on the tackle at 37. Second and 3 at the 37. Tennessee has 167 total yards. Tampa Bay has 250. And Johnson gaining confidence with every carry. That's another six-yard gain and a first down at the Tampa Bay 31. Tampa Bay has committed the only penalty. By the way, we cut the penalties down a little bit because we figure with the massive talent uh, arrayed in the hometown football league that there wouldn't be too many penalties that would uh, accumulate. So penalties have been reduced 20%. Uh, as you saw in my season preview. First and 10 at the Tampa Bay 31 is Tennessee. Tannehill throwing and wide open is Bennett, and he's got six. Shook off Johnny Lynch and found Pater. And Tennessee takes the lead at 12-7. to They're not going to go for two, which surprises me a little bit. Here's the extra point try. Good. And it's 13-7 as Baronis puts that through. So again, Wilson will be back deep along with LeGarrett Blunt and Stan Humphreys. I think that's Stan Humphreys. And, oh, that, that's, he kicked that to Ruskin where the National Weather Service is in the Tampa Bay area. So that was a great boot by Baronis, and they had no chance of returning that. So Tampa Bay trailing 13-7. We'll go Warwick, trap right. And Dunn has himself another eight yards. He has six carries on the day for 17 yards, one catch for seven. Would be a good time to do a play action long pass or bomb, which is what we're going to try. We're going to go Keyshawn Long on second and two. Oh, this is a perfect play call because Tennessee's playing short tight D. And that's an incompletion. Keyshawn could not hold on to that one. Third and two, we're going to go to Allstott. See if uh, Allstott has good hands here. And the trap is short by a foot. Oh, Allstott gained two yards. He is now at six carries for 14, and the Bucks will have to punt. And Bidwell goes back and he'll punt deep. And Mariani made the fair catch at the 29. So Tennessee has a chance to go up more by more than a score. But when you do that, you give Tom Brady a chance to work his magic, as he did in Super Bowl 51, uh, Patriots and the Falcons. The fir first and only to date overtime Super Bowl. First and 10 at the 29. Tannehill to Hall. Hall's got a lot of running room. That is 36 yards. And Tannehill goes over to 200-yard mark on the day, 18 for 26 and 224. So a big gain by Hall. That gives him four catches for 55 yards on the day. First and 10 at the Tampa Bay 35 as Tennessee imposing their will on the Bucks right now. And that is a... 
slant to Mason, picking up five more. Rondé Barber on the tackle. Good news is Tennessee has a good chance of being up more than the score, but the bad bad news about all that is you're giving Brady a chance to impose his will on this game, which we have seen many times before him take over a game. Second and five from the 30. It's a pitch to Johnson, and Johnson no gain tackled by Rondé Barber. That sets up third and five from the 30 with 642 left in quarter number three, 13-7. Is your score, Tampa Bay trailing by six. This is Johnson. Johnson has a first down and more. Past the 20, past the 15, and that's an 18-yard uh, game. Bennett is out for the game, which means Claiborne will have to come in. Adrian Claiborne out of Iowa. Again, on those 2010 teams that weren't too good if you were a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. He went through a lot of coaches like Greg Schiano and Levy Smith. First and 10 at the 12. 5.53 left. Tampa Bay looking. And that's an incomplete pass. Tampa Bay looking to keep the Titans off the board here somehow. Tannehill was looking for wide check and incomplete pass. Second and 10 now from the 12 as the crowd tries to give the defense a boost. Pitches to Johnson. Johnson. Picks up six. Make, I'm sorry, make that seven. An off-tackle left play, and that moves the ball down to the five. Third and three, 540 left in quarter number three. Big play here. Johnson, loss of a yard. That brings up fourth down and four. Baronis should have an easy field goal here from 23. It's good, and it's 16-7. The Buccaneers now trail by nine. Wilson again back deep for Tampa Bay. And this is going to be another touchback with Tampa Bay going into the win. 4.23 left. Brady's going to get a little more desperate here, I would think. They're going to go medium slant to Carrier. Incomplete. Brady now 15 out of 28. They're going to go Gronk, medium cross. And he's open. Gronk with running room. He's in Tennessee territory. He picks up 46 big yards and goes over 100 on the day. Six catches and a buck 26. And they can only go to Gronk three more times before he gets tired. We're going to go screen to Allstott. First and 10 at the 34. And that's incomplete. He overthrew Mike. And we're going to pitch it to Dunn on second and 10 from the 34. And Dunn struggles to get to the line. Curse coming out. His return probable. So again, we go back to Morgan. Derek Morgan out of Georgia Tech will play defensive end. Okay, so it's third and 10 at the 34. We're going to go four wide, and we're going to look to Antonio Bryant. For a medium hitch. Keyshawn in motion, and that's incomplete. And we're going to go for it on fourth and ten from the 34, because we're kicking into the wind. And we're going to go Evans, medium fly route. And yes, I want to call this play because I really don't have an option. Oh, off the hands of Evans. And now Tennessee gets the ball back. Turnover on downs. Maybe I should have just punted. 2.53 left now. Third quarter. It's first and 10. And the Titans leading 16-7. to The score of Super Bowl three when the Jets beat the Colts. Tannehill. First down. Give to Johnson. Johnson picks up a couple. On the tackle was McCoy. No, Brooks. Brooks made the tackle. McCoy got a piece of him. Derek Brooks made the tackle. Second and eight. Ball to 36. 245 left in the third. By the way, our next game will be Indianapolis and St. Louis. Indianapolis and St. Louis. 
the Maroons against the Colts. That was a two-yard gain for Johnson before David Logan brought him down. Third and six to 38. Before Logan's tragic passing, he was a sports anchor at uh, uh, the NBC station in Tampa. I met him once at Largo High School. Uh, he worked for Channel 8, uh, the NBC station, and he worked for a, a local cable news channel called Bay News 9 here, which is now Spectrum News 9. Third and six of the 38. I thought he was a nice man. Throw caught by, uh, let's see, Mason. Barber forced a fumble, recovered by Lynch, and Tampa Bay has the ball back. A minute 15 left. McKay telling Brady, be a little patient, be a little patient. And Brady's going to go to Evans. On the medium fly route, it's caught inside the 35, a gain of 15. Ball to 33. And let's see what they do here. We're going to run a screen to Keyshawn. That's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33. Brady up to 34 passes. And we're going to go slant the Keyshawn this time. And that is caught. A gain of six. Setting up third and four for the tw from the 27. But that's going to do it for the third quarter. It is Tampa Bay 16, Bucks 7. But now they have the wind. Zero to 10 mile an hour. So they'll have that working for them. Done on a screen on third and four. He's open. He gets the first. He's inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Warwick Dunn was so lethal on those late 90s box teams with that screen pass. Pater there. It's 16-13. Your point after try. For Michael Como Esta Husted, as Sam White used to call him when he coached the Bucks, it's good, and it's 16-14. We have just started the fourth quarter. 14-47 left to go. Tampa Bay kicking with the wind. They'll kick deep. Caught by Mariani just in front of the goal line. He only moves out to the 17. Picks up 16 yards on the return. Not what Tennessee wanted here. So now, Tampa Bay, see if they could do something here defensively, a first and 10 from their own 17. Tampa Bay with 354 total yards on 51 plays. Tennessee, 283 on 46. See what happens here. Tannehill in the gun and a marker. Ball start. Offense, number 17, five-yard penalty, repeat, first down. Tannehill with some head bobbing. Uh, the referees or the officials catch it. It's five yards back the other way. And now Tennessee with a first and 15 from their own 12. And that Tampa Bay crowd really haven't letting Tannehill have it. Tannehill pitches to Johnson and another marker. Offense number 28, five yard penalty. We'll take the penalty. The illegal motion against Johnson now first and 20 from the 7. 16 to 14. Tampa Bay trailing by 2. Tannehill gives to Johnson. Johnson does not pick pick up much. 2 yards. And that's McCoy on the tackle. Gerald McCoy, a longtime Buccaneer out of Oklahoma. Sometimes they use him as a running back. Or did in the uh, 20 teens. Second and 18 from the nine. Bucks in a prevent mode. Hall, fumble, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Caught me. Derek Brooks drilled Hall. Caught me, picked it up. And it was an easy how do you do for Tampa Bay. They now take the lead at 20 to 16. They will try for two points. And we're going to go to Jimmy Giles on a cross. And they do not get the conversion. The score will remain Tampa Bay 20 and Tennessee 16. You never know what will happen in an HTFL football game. So that was a dramatic turn of events. 
And now the crowd really feeding into the Buccaneers here. They kick from the 35. And off we go. Mariani again, just in front of the goal line, Illegal brings block. it back to the Receiving 21. Team. But they cannot do anything right offensively. Another penalty. And that forces Tennessee back to their own eight. 13-25. Left to go in the game. Regulation time, unless we go overtime. And Tennessee's got 92 yards to take the lead. And something happened there. Tannehill ran a bootleg play, and he got to the outside and picked up nine yards. Well done. Brooks made his 10th tackle for the Bucks. Second and one at the 17. Pitch to Johnson. Johnson will get the first down. Only needed a yard. He got one. And it's first and 10 now. 82 yards to go for the Titans. If they want to be remembered, they trail 20 to 16. Mark Cotney with that go-ahead touchdown for Tampa Bay. He played on the 70s team. was on the original Buccaneer on the 76 Bucks. Uh, Tannehill, the wide check for eight. Lynch on the tackle. Tannehill now 22 of 31 for 250. Wide check caught his fourth ball for 50 yards total. Second and two. To give to Johnson. Johnson's got uh, five more yards. 20 carries for him for 58. Six catches for 42. So he has 100 yards of total offense. First and 10 now for the Titans at their own 31. This game winding down. And Johnson again. One yard gain. David Logan brought him down. Second and nine at the 32. And that is a three yard gain to Johnson. McCoy on the tackle. Now third and six for the Titans, who will be throwing here, one would think. Tannehill over the middle to Mason, but he, yes, he held on to it. Looked for a moment he might have bobbled it, but he did not. Gain of seven and a first down. Tannehill is now 23 of 32 for 257. First and 10 at the 42. Titans trail by four, so they need a touchdown for the lead. The screen pass went nowhere. Two yards. Runyon, the right tackle, is out of the game. And now Tennessee bringing in Eddie George out of Ohio State, who won the Heisman Trophy. There you see him. Let's show you Mr. Lawan, Taylor Lawan out of Michigan. He comes into the game as well. Second and 12. So you got Johnson and George giving the Titans a little bit of a steak in the backfield. Ball to 40. And this is Eddie George picking up five yards on a Tannehill throw. Cottony on the tackle. Third and seven at the 45. 8.02 left. Incomplete. Looking for Mason. Couldn't find him. Barber's got a hand on it. And now my phone is ringing again. And I'm just going to get rid of these people. Thank you very much. Kern back to punt. And we'll let it roll. And I'll take time off the clock. I'll just keep the phone here in case they call back. And I can pick up and hang up again. Ball the 11, Tampa Bay takes over, 7.07 left in the fourth quarter. It's the Bucks 20 and the Titans 16. Dunn and Allstott, who have been in the, in the backfield the whole game, they stay in. And we're going to go Allstott here and hope we're in good hands. Trap right. And Allstott straight ahead for five yards. Middleton was hurt on the play. Middleton will be replaced by Sean Farrell out of Penn State. And we'll give you his profile here. Played on the 80s Bucks teams that started out good but then went to pot. Second and five, we're going to go done on the screen. And it's caught and done. Picks up 12. 
That's his third reception for 46 yards total. As I put my phone back up, I doubt it will ring again while I'm doing this. 642 left, first and 10. Back to Allstott on a dive. And he may have fumbled, and Tennessee has it. Second time Allstott has fumbled today, and Roll picked it up. And the Titans might be on a roll. They get the ball to Tennessee 32 with 6.03 to go. Costly fumble there for Mike Allstott. And let's see what the Titans can do with it. Tannehill will throw into the flat. And that was Johnson with no gain. Substitutions in for the Titans. They bring in Kendall Wright and Kevin Dyson. And they go four wide. Second and ten. Ball to 32. The throw deflected off of Barber, intended for Mason, incomplete. So Wycheck has now thrown 37 passes, 26 caught, uh, 260 yards, and one touchdown. Brady is 20 out of 37. He has two touchdowns to his credit. Third and ten at the 32. Danny Hill looking for, it looked like he was looking for Mason, and that's incomplete. Baronis, with 5.04 left in the game, is going to come in and try a field goal from 49. And he's 4 for 4 on the day. That kick is good, and it's 20-19 to 19 with five minutes to go exactly. And this is a kick that goes out of bounds. The Bucks will take over at the 40. We're going to take Allstott out of the game. And we're going to look for another blocker. Uh, blocking running back. If we can find one here. Uh, we're going to put in Ricky Bell. So Ricky Bell, it'll be a tandem backfield. Uh, let's see here. I do not want to play in an I formation. We're going to go... We're going to go split backs. And we're going to go Bell on the off-tackle left play. Tennessee has eight in the box, but Bell picks up four yards. Ricky Bell was a standout at USC. Had some good seasons with the Buck. Tragically, we lost Ricky in 1984. And, he, of course, he's out of USC. We're using the 79 card on Ricky Bell. Outside run, we're going to go done with 4.19 to go. A penalty. Encroachment, defense, number 99, five-yard penalty. Casey. Second down. And it's now second and a yard. We bring Allstott in in the full house, and we'll give it to him. He's got a first down and more. Eight yards. Tullock makes the stop. Just bring him in as a third running back. Back to the split back formation for Tampa Bay. And we're going to go Bell on an off tackle left play. First and ten. And Bell will pick up five yards. Bucks want to slow the game down. We're going to go done, trap right, try to run the clock down as much as we can. That's a gain of a yard. Bringing up third and four. And we're going to go done on the screen again. And, oh, two-minute warning. We're at the two-minute warning. Each team with three timeouts. Two minutes left to go in the game. And back to a screen for Dunn. 
at the 37. He's caught it. He's got a first down. Gain of eight to the 29. Brady now has a 300-yard game, game at 3.04. And Tennessee has called timeout. We're going to go Bell on a dive, Ricky Bell. Brother, by the way, was Archie Bell of the Drells. If you ever heard that song uh, from the 60s called Tighten Up, that is Ricky Bell's brother. Archie Bell and the Drells. Tennessee calls timeout. They have one left. A minute 36 to go. And we're going to keep it inside. Go with Dunn. Dunn stuffed at the line. No yardage. And now I'm going to call a timeout with and run the clock all the way down to the last second. 51 seconds. Bucks 20. Tennessee 19. We're going to go triple tight end and we're going to see what Dunn can do. Off tackle left side. And he picks up six, five yards. Makes it fourth and three with 42 seconds to go. Tennessee has called timeout. They lead by a point, 20 to 19. Houston will try one from 39. And this one is good. So the only thing Tennessee could do to win the game is get a touchdown. They lead trail by four, 23 to 19 with 39 seconds to go. We'll kick to the goal line. Mariani catches it at about the three. And, well, something good happened there. Yes, the Bucks pick up the ball. Lewis on the tackle. Mike, uh, Barron, Mike Barron made the recovery for Tampa Bay, and this one is over. We'll go full house. Titans do not have a timeout, so take a kneel, Tom Brady, and you win the game. The final, Tampa Bay 23 Tennessee, 19. So let's show you what happened in this game with the player stats. Our next game, as I was mentioning earlier, will be Tennessee. Not Tennessee. Tennessee played today. I was thinking of Indianapolis. Indianapolis will be traveling to St. Louis to take on the Maroons, who no longer have Kurt Warner. He, has been tra he, he was picked up by Arizona and the Cardinals on the offseason. So you see it there. Tampa Bay got it going in the fourth. Uh, Brady had the better game amongst the quarterbacks, 21-38, 304, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Tannehill got sacked once. He was not too bad, 25, 26 out of 38 for 260. Leading rusher was Johnson, Chris Johnson, 22 of 22 carries, 62 yards. His longest game, though, was just 18. Johnson also led in receiving eight catches for 40 yards. Gronk had a 100-yard day. He, was, he caught six balls for 126. And bring back that blasted report. Wasn't done with it. Okay. And I like to look at the, who was the leading tackler. It was Brooks of Tampa Bay with 11. And if you're wondering who had the MVP honors, that would be Mr. Tom Brady. So we'll be with you uh, next tomorrow, September the 8th, hopefully at 7 o'clock, and we'll bring you the Colts. And the Maroons doing battle. Until then, this has been Big Pauly coming to you. Wishing you well. Godspeed. God bless. We'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.